This is one of the world's best miniature painters, Darren Hahn. People even accuse him for being a cheater. But then this video showed up from a workshop and he's using some weird machine. Maybe there's someone out there dumb enough to actually buy that machine just to try out. I'm going to try to paint super duper tiny space marine heads and make them look like real human faces, just like Darren Hahn. Is this machine gonna make me the world's best painter? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by NordVPN, but more on that later in the video. Hey everyone, you're watching Squidmore Miniatures. I'm Emil, and you have a finger that's made to caress a subscribe button. So do it if you haven't already, because please. So can this tool from AliExpress make me the world's best painter? Well, we gotta try it to figure out. And AliExpress is definitely known as a page for high quality stuff, right? I have a few minis here. These are some of my favorite faces that I painted. And when you see them with like a normal camera, they look amazing. When you look at them with your eye, they look fantastic. But let's see how they <laughs> look under the microscope. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's, look, that's looking rough. <laughs> let's be honest. God, that looks derpy. Oh well, okay, let's look at the next one. Oh, well this is better actually. This is another one of those like half hour paint jobs. This kind of, it kind of looks okay, I think. A bit of like green leak there that I haven't seen before. That's surprising. There's definitely room for improvement. Then we have Elonth from the Masterclass. Ah, oh, this is kind of, I'm kind of happy with this. I see stuff that I would change now. But this is so cool to see, like, the difference. Well, let's paint this in three steps. Firstly, I just wanted to try it out, try to block in colors, use the brush and see how it feels. Because I can't imagine that painting through a screen instead of using your eyes directly will make things a lot harder. Then, let's try to paint a real Space Marine face to Darren Hans level. And when that is done, let's do it again. Let's paint a third face just to see if we've learned things that we can improve on for the third one to make it even better. By the way, Emil, how good is it gonna get? So good, it's, you're gonna be scared because it's gonna be good. That's how good it's gonna be. Let's go. So I have this underworld orc that I've wanted to paint for a long while. So I start off by just trying to block out the colors, just to get a feel for how it is to handle the brush through the screen. And how's it going? The depth of field is so short and the depth perception is so difficult. Because you don't have like both eyes to get like the depth. Oh well, just gotta keep pushing through. I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it. Nailed it. Nail it. It was honestly so difficult to paint because of the position I had to have when I painted. I couldn't really keep the miniature steady enough and it was really straining causing me to shake even more. And after one and a half hours I had almost painted a face. It's probably three, four times slower than I would paint this normally. Okay, on to the second one. So I'm gonna start with the mouth and the eyes because I feel like that's like, it's gonna be impossible to go back and do that afterwards. So let's just try and see how we can make it look. So the goal with this video is obviously to try to mimic Darren Hahn's painting style. And I feel with the first face that I painted now, I probably did a bad thing starting with the black and going upwards. But it's definitely something I can learn from and improve on with the next one. Because to get a natural tone, I need to add so many layers to make it look reasonable. That's the problem with working from black. And instead of looking natural with super smooth transitions like Darren Hans stuff does, it looks super contrasty and cartoony, more like my normal miniatures does. As you'll see in just a bit with the reveal shots, it's not even close to his style and result. And apparently I've painted away the eyes now, so the eyes are gone. I've been painting this face for like three and a half, four hours. This single face. So much paint on there. Let's do a grand reveal. Whoa. 
But before we jump on the next one, let me introduce this week's sponsor, the cybersecurity tool NordVPN. So last week, I was super excited to watch the Blade trilogy. Unfortunately, Netflix Sweden don't have it, sadly. But thanks to NordVPN, I could change location from Sweden to one of their 5,200 servers in over 60 countries. So you can watch Swedish classics like Mamamoo and Crocade from anywhere in the world. Even your Android TV supports it. So if you want to try out safe surfing and get access to more of your favorite TV shows and movies, get NordVPN by following nordvpn.com squidmar. Use the code squidmar for 73% off your two year subscription and get four extra months for free. And if you've tried it and don't like it, you have a 30 days money back guarantee. Let's go. So it's been a couple of days and I didn't quite feel ready with this. I was quite disappointed, however, because it did not end up being the way I thought it would be. But I kind of want to give it another shot because obviously I want to be able to paint like this and I didn't even come close. So I'm going to give it another shot. So the plan today is instead of painting up highlights, we're going to glaze in shadows and try that. Also, I'm, I think I'm going to remove the ring light here and use a light from this angle instead because I feel like the ring light, it lights everything up straight on. So everything looks super flat and it makes it even more difficult for me to paint. So I'm, I'm gonna try that. Okay, so round number three. Instead of painting from black and up, I base coated the whole miniature with a bright pale skin tone and glazed my way down. And at this point, I felt like my control was a lot better. Far from perfect, but better. I feel like there's probably hundreds of hours of practice to master this. To all of you surgeons out there, I applaud your control. I, on the other hand, often slipped or moved a little bit too much, messing it up. But in the end, it definitely looked multiple times better than it did with the first one. And it was a lot easier to paint with the external light that I used instead of the ring light on the camera. It still took me about four times as much time as I would have painting the miniature without this tool because of the lacked control. And the extreme July heat did not help. The paint always dried in a matter of seconds. Which means that once I finally found the perfect place to place my brush, uh, the paint was already dried. In the end, it was a super fascinating experience. I'm not gonna say it was fun because it quite wasn't. And was it near Darren Hans end result? Well, judge for yourself. So that 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 was the video, I guess. I hope you had some fun watching it with me. Thanks to this week's sponsor, NordVPN. You can check it out nordvpn.com slash squidmar and get 73% off and four extra months. That's quite cool of them. I think you should check out Darren Hall's Instagram. I'll put that in the video description and a massive thanks to all my patrons. You guys are god tier beasts. If you want to learn about the tools that I use, I have all that listed on my website squidmar.com. Follow any of the links and Amazon and the affiliates kick back money and support this channel. So that's a good way. Win-win. Hey. And with that said, have a great day. Bye-bye.